Well, Jordan, welcome to, to, to Tramir and uh, your, your first league start. Couldn't have gone any better, really, could it? No, yeah, uh, perfect debut, um, clean sheet. Uh, the boys performed excellent. Um, you know, we, we spoke about it on Tuesday night, obviously, after the cup game. We had a slow start first half, but fantastic from the boys' second half to come back, claw the game back and win the game. And um, we was hoping that would bring us a bit of momentum, a bit of confidence into the team. We know it's been a tough start. Um, and that's exactly what happened. Um, went out there from the start, was absolutely excellent, ran all over and we were, you know, felt super fit out there, super organised. Um, yeah, brilliant performance. Clean sheet, what you'll be happy about, and then three quality goals at the end as well. All very different, but three quality goals. Yeah, and not just the strikers as well, everyone's chipping in, so um, we'll need that throughout the season. Um, and like you said, quality goals. I think that you know everyone worked super hard today. Um, even the players coming onto the pitch as well, and you know all round it was it was brilliant. Quite a young squad. I mean, one or two have been here last season as well. But you know yourself, you've got Neil Byrne alongside you. Kane Hemmings obviously captain of the side as well. There's a lot on you guys as well, I think, isn't it, to make sure you bring these players through. Yeah, and um, obviously likes myself coming in late as well. It's um, obviously been a job to obviously gel the boys together. Um, you know, there's no excuse for the slow start that we've had, but um, you know these things do come into play. Like you said, um, a young squad as well, and you know, um, trying to get that experience in as well. So. Um, you know, it might take a little bit of time to gel perfectly, but today, you know, everything went right, and it's definitely a huge, huge step into the right direction. Um, yeah, and, and on to Tuesday now, so uh, we need to make it count by, you know, picking up some more points, and you know, we can't just stop there. I even noticed at the first drinks break, you went rushing to get your bottle of water. You had Carl James alongside you, and had a long chat with him as well. You know, so obviously, you know, your mind was still on the game. Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, obviously, it's nice <laughs> to have the drinks break. I think it was definitely needed. Um, but yeah, just making sure that we're still focused, you know, you know, it's a time that you could switch off and players can um, obviously forget about what's happening in the game, but um, you know, it's just about talking to each other, communicating, and um, I think everyone did that brilliantly today. That, that was the main thing, everyone communicating all over the pitch, not just the back lads, but um, the players in front of us as well, making sure we're organised throughout the game. Um, and if we keep doing that, if we keep on top of that, you know, we'll be, you know, we'll be a real force in this league. And you've seen today, you say, a slow start to the season, but I mean, that you know, terrific, exciting penalty shootout on Tuesday night, you know, the fans behind you, the fans here today, the potential here is great, and if you can just get that gel together, the experience of the young players, it, it could be a really good season. Absolutely fantastic. I think um, you know the fans on Tuesday night were behind the boys even 2-0 down, um, and the boys showing that desire and determination to get back into the game, um, and today rewarded the fans for you know fantastic day out for everyone, so um, hopefully we continue to do that. Um, like you said, um, huge football club, you know, real, real big potential. Um, you know, let's get those get those fans through the doors and, and really perform for them. And the early season games come thick and fast anyway. You know, now it's up to Hartlepool and then Newport. They're the two away games this week. You know, going to Hartlepool and O'Neill Burns going back to his former club, so he might have something to prove. But uh, as far as you're concerned, you know, important now you build on this today. This, this can't be a one-off. Is it? You've got to show it away from home. Exactly, we spoke about it straight away after the game there, you know, it was all applause and, you know, brilliant from the boys, but we're straight on to Tuesday, thinking about the game, making sure that we're in the right mindset come Monday morning, um, go and enjoy your day off tomorrow and Monday morning straight back onto the game, we'll have a meeting about the opposition and what we have to do to, um, you know, what we have to do to win the game, so, um, like you said, we have to build on that now, we've built on it, built on it from Tuesday night and now we've had a fantastic win today, so, um, you know, pick up the momentum, young squad, you know, we've got lots of energy in the team, lots of players that didn't even featured today, lots of energy that can come in as well, so um, brilliant. I think we look at the stats for last season. I mean, the home form here, I think, you know, was, was all with anybody in the league. It was the away form, the away results in the end that cost perhaps even automatic promotion. So, you know, that, that's the key, isn't it? You, you've got to be as good away from home as you are here at Brenton Park. Yeah, exactly. You know, you always want to win your home games, and, you know, we've certainly done that today. But um, to capitalise on that, we need to go away from home and be hard to beat. Um, you know, not maybe not be as open and you know it's pretty football sometimes you've got to go out there and win the points so um, we'll speak about that we'll make sure you know we, we make a point of that on Monday um, and, and like I said build on that momentum pick up some more points and, and, and keep it going and the 11 who crossed the white line today have, have sort of said to those sitting on the bench or injured at the moment yeah try and get my spot I mean yeah that, that's what you want in a, in a club and a squad that competitiveness doesn't it? of course the, of course yeah it's a healthy competition you know you, you know that there's people sat on the bench that absolutely could come into the team and do, do a job and, and do a really good job so um, it keeps you on your toes on the pitch making sure that you go out there focused and like I said just little things like during the drinks baking that making sure that the team's focused switched on um, and yeah, healthy competition is always good for every team. So, um, like I said, there's loads of players that um, have got qualities that are sat on the bench and even not on the bench today. We've got injuries that come back into the fold as well. So um, it's looking really good. 
and just a word about your finish. The boss was sort of saying there, you know, right, wasn't quite sure whether to start with you today or not. I'm sure you had an influence in that yourself as well, how you felt. But fitness-wise, how are you feeling yourself at the moment? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, it was always just a matter of um, getting my football fitness into the body. Uh, my time off, obviously, I was keeping fit generally, but um, it's never the same. So um, I've had a... A microwave pre-season with Hodgie, I um, had about seven days training um, and obviously I featured on Tuesday as well just to sort of get back into the swing of things. Um, yeah, I was dying to play today at home, a uh, brilliant day um, and yeah, I'm, I'm thankful I did and the manager put me in there. Um, got a bit leggy towards the end and um, obviously 3-0 up, um, the manager asked me how I was, how I was feeling and managed to take me off um, and rest me a little bit more but um, yeah, I'm feeling good, I feel fit, um, the staff have been absolutely excellent, sort of um, just edging me in um, and, it, and it's worked brilliantly so um, I'll have a long sleep tonight but <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go again Tuesday.